Ah, the humble battery. It makes everything from cruising down the boulevard in your car or cruising for a date on Tinder possible. But have you ever wondered how those little cylinders you can buy at gas stations and grocery stores, or oh, those blocky things that you put in your laptop can store so much energy? Well, despite the massive diversity in battery types, they all rely on the same sort of chemical reaction to create energy, which is actually very similar to that Breaking Bad episode where Walter White builds his own freaking battery out of coins and Tupperware. What a badass. A typical alkaline battery you can buy at the store to put into your remote or whatever else contains an anode on the negative end, a cathode on the positive end, and an electrolyte paste, which contains ions, which are electrically charged molecules. Different materials make up the anode and cathode in a plain old alkaline battery. The anode is made of zinc, like what you'd find in coins, while the cathode is comprised of manganese dioxide, which may have actually been used as a fire starter by cave people, but anyways. The ions in the electrolyte can combine with the zinc, resulting in a reaction that releases electrons. When you close the circuit by putting the battery inside of your favorite electronic device, negatively charged electrons leave the zinc anode, go through your device providing electrical power, and flow back into the positively charged cathode. These chemicals are readily available and cheap, making alkaline batteries readily available and affordable and convenient and etc etc. But because chemical reactions used up all the different substances inside of the battery and are hard to reverse, they're usually useless once they die. In fact, trying to recharge a regular alkaline battery won't precisely result in the opposite chemical reactions, meaning you could wind up with dangerous byproducts leaking everywhere. So don't do it. Fortunately, many other types of batteries are rechargeable because they use different chemicals that react in a way that make running the discharging reaction in reverse both easy and most importantly, safe. Today, the most common type of rechargeable batteries that you can buy in AA or AAA sizes is the nickel metal hydride battery, or NIMH. Not only are NIMH batteries rechargeable, but they also tend to last quite a bit longer than their alkaline counterparts on one charge, making them a good choice for things like digital cameras that suck battery life fairly quickly. However, they can be a bit tricky to recharge, so make sure you're getting a quality charger approved for the use of NIMH batteries. Don't try to use older chargers designed for largely obsolete nickel cadmium batteries, which could leave your NIMH batteries undercharged or even damaged. Not, not good. Well, okay, Luke, that's all fine and dandy for my digital camera, but what about the batteries in my laptop or smartphone? Are those NIMH? Actually, those are usually lithium ion batteries, not NIMH batteries. Lithium ion batteries are the kind of power source of choice for many rechargeable electronics, not only because of their high energy density and longer run times, but they don't suffer from issues such as the memory effect, which can affect uh, other kinds of batteries and cause them to lose capacity if they aren't fully drained before being recharged. Since we're always unplugging and replugging in our laptops tablets and phones, lithium ion batteries are a great choice currently since they don't care how much juice they have inside themselves when you go to plug them back in. They will just charge all the way up. Some newer devices have even taken lithium ion batteries a step farther with lithium polymer designs that contain an electrolyte gel, making it possible to fit the battery into a small flexible package, ideal for thin, higher performance devices like high-end smartphones. But even newer rechargeable batteries aren't perfect over time. All those charge and discharge cycles will cause batteries to wear out due to chemical reactions proceeding not quite perfectly. And of course, most of us are still frustrated with our batteries dying after just a day's use or just a few hours with something like a laptop. So as we continually demand faster mobile devices with longer battery life, there are a number of experimental battery technologies in the works that could one day make charging your phone every night a thing of the past. Oh, please make that happen. These batteries could be things such as ceramic cathodes or glass electrolytes and are not only more durable but could last several times larger than current rechargeable battery tech due to higher energy densities. Apple has been heavily rumored to be looking at ceramic batteries for some of its future products. So in the near future, you might only have to remember to charge your iPhone once every few days. 
especially important if your usual activities consist of walking around Las Vegas with like a selfie stick. You know who hasn't used batteries? Bears. But these bears can tunnel you into up to 20 different countries for your internet so you can like browse as if you're from that country which is pretty cool and you can use online services as if you're from that country as well. They have easy to use apps for iOS, Android, PC, and Mac, and a Chrome extension just in case you, you go that way. Just choose a country in the app, turn Tunnel Bear on, and watch as your bear tunnels your internet connection into your new location. When you turn Tunnel Bear on, two things happen. Your connection gets encrypted with AES 256-bit encryption, and your public IP address gets switched so you show up as if you're in that country to other people. Tunnel Bear lets you bypass all the annoying details that are typically come with VPNs for personal use. There's no need to mess around with like port configurations, DNS, or any other router mumbo jumbo. Just let the Tunnel Bear tunnel. They also have a top rated privacy policy and do not log user activity. You can try out Tunnel Bear for free with 500 megabytes of data and no credit card required, but if you are interested, upgrade to unlimited data. You can save 10% by going to tunnelbear.com slash Linus. So do that, tunnel over to Tunnel Bear, to do the thing, and then you can tunnel into other countries. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. Comment down below if there's something else you'd like us to check out. And don't forget to check out Channel Super Fun, where there's a mystery video this week. Come on down, click the screen, see what's happening. I don't know, no one knows. Do you know? I don't know. Maybe you know, I don't know yet. Maybe you've already clicked there and figured it out and this video is still playing so you can hear me talking and now you know. I, whatever. Don't forget to subscribe to Tech Quickie. See you next time.